Hello, first graders, and happy Tuesday. We have a pretty awesome read aloud for you. Our book today is called The Teacher from the Black Lagoon. The story is by Mike Thaller, and the pictures are by Jared Lee. And I promise you, the teacher from the Black Lagoon, it's not me, and it's not Miss Nava, but we'll have to read and find out who it is and learn a little bit about them and this story. So let's get going. It's the first day of school. I wonder who my teacher is. I hear Mr. Smith has dandruff and warts. Ooh, I don't know if Mr. Smith would be fun to have as a teacher. And Mrs. Jones has a whip and a wig. Ooh. But Mrs. Green is supposed to be a real monster. Oh my, I have her. Miss Green, room 109. What a bummer. And our friend looks very shocked. He is not happy to have Mrs. Green. But let's find out what happens. I sit at my desk. I fold my hands. I close my eyes. I'm too young to die. Suddenly, a shadow covers the door. It opens. In slithers, Mrs. Green. She's really green. And look, she has a green skirt on. And it looks like her leg is green. Or maybe that's a tail. Hmm. She has a tail. She scratches her name on the blackboard with her claws. And look at Miss Green's face. And you can see her scratching Mrs. Green on the board. And the kids, they look pretty scared. And I would be too. Freddie Jones throws a spitball and look at him throw it. She curls up her lip and breathes fire at him. Freddie's gone. Whoa. There is just a little pile of ashes on his desk. That's spooky. Talk about bad breath, giggles Eric Porter. Uh-oh. She slithers over, unscrews his head, and puts it on a globe stand. Oh man, look at his head. And Miss Green looks pretty pleased with her work. I wouldn't like that if a teacher did that to me, that's for sure. I bet she gives homework on the first day of school. Your homework for today, grins Miss Green. Smoke rising from her nostrils is pages one to 200 in your math book. All the fraction problems. That sounds like a lot of work that Mrs. Green is assigning on the first day of school, no less. We've never had fractions, shouts Derek Bloom. Come up here, she beckons with her claw. Derek stands by her desk. This is a whole boy, she smirks. She takes a big bite. This is a half boy. 
Now you've had fractions. I can't believe she just ate one of her students. Doris Foodle cracks her gum. Miss Green swallows her in one gulp. No chewing in class, she smiles. Mr. Bender, the principal, sticks his head in. Keep up the good work. He nods and closes the door. I wish I could get sent to the principal's office. Let's call the roll, cackles Mrs. Green. Freddie Jones is absent. Derek Bloom is half here. Eric Porter is here and there. Doris Foodle is digesting. What about spelling? Shouts Randy Potts. Spelling can be fun, beams Miss Green, wiggling her finger at him. Abracadabra Kazam. That's tough to spell, says Randy. Suddenly, there's a flash of light, a puff of smoke, and Randy is a frog. Oh man, look what, look what she did to Randy. Penny Weber raises her hand. Can I go to the nurse, she whines. What's wrong? asks Mrs. Green. I have a huge headache, says Penny. Miss Green wriggles her fingers. There's another flash of light, and Penny's head is the size of a pin. And look at her tiny head now. Better? asks Mrs. Green. Now it's nap time. Everyone who still has one, put your head on your desk. I hope I make it to recess. Sweet dreams, she cackles, as I close my eyes. Suddenly, the bell rings. I wake up. There's a pretty woman writing her name on the blackboard. She has real skin, no tail. I'm Mrs. Green, your teacher, she smiles. I jump out of my chair, run up and hug her. Well, thank you, she says. I'm glad to be here. Not as glad as I am. And that, <clears throat> and that is the end of our book. Well, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. I thought that book was great. A little scary, a little different, but really fun to read. And I hope really fun to listen to. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you later. Goodbye, friends.